A woman is facing charges for smashing a car with a baseball bat, then murdering her four-year-old son, who was found unresponsive in their apartment. The incident began early Sunday morning at 6.27am on the 7th of March 2021, when police responded to a report about a woman hitting a parked car with a baseball bat in a parking lot located in 242 Nautilus Drive, New London, Connecticut. The woman hitting the car was identified as 33-year-old Tiffany Ferrato. Tiffany had left the scene, but later returned to the parking lot where the owner of the car was speaking to the police. She approached the officer and said, Take me away. When questioned why she wanted them to take her away, she explained that she heard a young son and that he was in the apartment. She admitted to strangling the child after she smashed up the car with a baseball bat. One of the officers rushed to her unit and found the child unconscious and unresponsive. The officers attempted CPR to resuscitate him, but he was pronounced dead shortly after being taken to the hospital. Ferrato was initially arrested on two counts of criminal mischief, but while she was in custody at the New London Police Station, she was also charged with murder and risk of injury to a minor. Ferrato appeared in court on Monday, where her bond was increased from $1 million to $2 million and has been placed on suicide and mental health watch. The police have just released the boy's name as David Jasmine. A motive for the attack has not been disclosed as the investigation into the matter continues. A Denver, Colorado man accused of fatally shooting a woman and seriously injuring her boyfriend in a dog poo dispute has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity in court on Monday. It all began at 11.41am on the 10th of June 2020, when 21-year-old Isabella Thallis was walking a dog with her boyfriend, 26-year-old Darian Simon. As they entered an area behind Michael Close's apartment, located in Ballpark on North Fox Street, the dog began to defecate on the ground. Close is said to have shouted out of his window from his apartment, Are you going to train that fucking dog? Frustrated, Close pulled out a semi-automatic rifle, and opened fire through the blinds, shooting Thallus and her boyfriend just as they bent down to pick up the dog's poo. He killed Thallus instantly and struck Simon twice in the legs. According to an arrest warrant, Close started firing shots at the couple after hearing Simon yelling at the dog to relieve itself right outside his unit. Following the shooting, police met with a woman named Chelsea Thompson, who was Close's girlfriend. She said Close, who was 36 at the time, they called her after shooting the couple and was crying and mumbling that he had shot two people. His girlfriend told police that Close was mentally unstable and had been diagnosed with a personality disorder and depression. She told him to turn himself in, but instead he fled in his Mercedes SUV. Close was arrested 285 hours after the attack after police tracked down his phone and performed a traffic obstruction. Close repeatedly said, I'm sorry after being placed in custody. The Denver Police Department said an AR-15 and a handgun were found in the passenger side floorboard of the Mercedes he was driving at the time, as well as a gun belt and firearm magazines. A rifle that belongs to his law enforcement friend, Daniel Politica, was taken without his knowledge. After searching Close's apartment, they found open bottles of alcohol and cocaine residues inside. During a court session on Monday, Close pleaded not guilty to murder, as well as a raft of other indictable offences by reason of insanity. He will now be evaluated for his mental health before his next court appearance on the 10th of May this year. A man was apprehended by Joliet Police on Friday the 5th of March for stealing a car that was left running and unattended in a gas station parking lot. Police spotted and arrested 35-year-old Lafayette Moore of Chicago after he asked an officer assisting with a traffic crash for directions to the Interstate 80 in the area of Briggs Street and Spencer Road. The officer gave directions but then realised the vehicle was stolen and later performed a traffic stop and arrested Moore. Moore is charged with theft of a motor vehicle 